today we're going to talk about how to convert a solid cylinder into a geometric pot in just a few simple steps. If this sounds like something you want to learn, stick around. All right, jumping right in. I'm going to do a simple create and come down to cylinder. We're going to be working on this plane here. So I'm going to select this. And we're going to just do a five inch by five inch pot here. So 127 and hit enter. And then we're going to go up 127 and say enter. Now we have our basic cylinder, which we're going to turn this into a pot. The easiest way to do this is to come down here and select the pot. So we are on the mesh tab and we are going to um, convert this into a mesh. And refinement, I'm gonna turn this to high to get our best results. And I think I'll leave everything else about the same and say, okay. So there is our mesh. Now, in order to get this low poly fill that I have over here, we need to make some really, really quick changes. So I'm going to select this entire object and I'm going to come over here and say reduce, which will reduce the total number of triangles. And so I'm going to make sure we set this to face count and I'm going to, I think right now we should be at 1300. I'm going to try to reduce this down to a hundred and see what that looks like. And we're getting there a little bit closer. Maybe we'll go down to, oh, let's go to 60. 60 looks like a pretty good number. And we got a little bit of a, it's not quite perfect here. See how this side's straight, this one's not. So we're gonna come down, maybe we'll go to 55 to try to give us a nice look. And it really is just kind of playing with this uh, until you get the shape that you're looking for. And I feel like that added back in what I was looking for. We'll just do a quick circle around and see if there's anything super crazy going on here. Um, and for the most part, it looks okay. I'm gonna maybe go go 58. I feel like we need one more back. And so we're gonna say, okay. So there we have our pot and a nice little non-uniform low poly look. And the next step is just to do the opposite of what we just did. So we have our body, which is now a mesh. We're just gonna select that. And we have the option now under modify to come back and we're gonna convert this mesh back into a body so that we can finish it and export it out of here. Okay, and now we have our nice body, this will have some really good, this will have, it'll look really good when we print this based on just these different triangles we have and different uh, transitions as the printer's moving. The next step, we need to jump over here to the solid tab and we are going to shell this object. So we're gonna select that. And I really like 1.8 as the number. That gives me two inside walls, two outside walls when I'm designing this. And it helps to speed up the overall print process. Now we've got a uh, pot just needs to cut the top off. And we're going to do that with a simple extrude. So jumping over to the right, we are going to grab the middle here and draw this down. Now I only need to come down 1.8 inch or 1.8 millimeters. And so somewhere about right there should be plenty. And we're gonna just cut the top of this pot off. Change that to symmetric and we are done. And just like that, in less than five minutes, you have a really, really simple geometric style home decor pot that you can print out. Uh, you can sell these. These are a really great option and they're really, really popular right now. As always, thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see me do next. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this channel and I really enjoy all the people that are watching and subscribing. We'll see you next time.